The Maxima HD is a faster version of the already infamous Infinite Health Ball strategy in surface tension. It combines gauze boosting, out of bounds, sharking, and an NPC abuse in a complex sequence of actions, making it one of the most sophisticated strategies in the game. Scrutinizing the decompiled IHD map, first we can see that there are two outer layers of skyboxes limiting the first part of the level. For whatever reason, only the outer layer is solid, while the inner skybox acts like water which can be swum and sharked on. You need to shark on the small column of water into the next level part where you leave the column to your right to fly and for a moment dive through another inner layer of skybox acting like water. This water layer is just thin enough again to let you pass without losing much speed but also to carry you very shortly when holding plus jump to reduce your falling speed. When you commence the 2 to 3 B hops on the outer wall on the opposite side, you again need to evade the inner skybox layer which would instantly kill all your speed if you touched it and render the jump over to the roof very difficult. It would not be impossible since you could gain enough speed only with pre-strafe and a few hops to jump across. Watching the trick again, you need to collect the med kits, but maintain your speed to not get killed by the Vortigons. However fast you can manage, a line for the out of bounds gauze boost shooting a little into the nearby wall corner, which gives you more of a circle for turning midair. You hit the top solid skybox and fall onto the column, connecting a second gauze boost. If you don't do this second boost, your speed will have decreased too much to continue the b-hop chain afterwards. When reaching the next separate level part, you strafe right through the thin skybox layer to reduce height without falling speed and make it over to the outer wall. You bunny hop until reaching the other building's corner, jump over and scare the human grunt with an SMG grenade aimed into his direction but indirectly onto the corner. Then you need to fall onto the jump pad to not die from falling, jump into the cabins, reduce FPS to 20, shoot to attract the soldier's attention and throw a nade to make him open the door. The most difficult part is the gauze boost onto the water column, which you can practice with SV Cheats 1 and the no target command so the enemies will not attack you. First, practice the boost itself to get the necessary height bumping into the ceiling skybox. Then, practice the turning onto the column and maintaining the right direction to not fall off, which is the most difficult part. You can then practice turning on the water and boosting a second time. As a last part, you want to continue the chain, strafing right, be hopping on the wall and placing the SMG grenade. Common problems will be to lose your speed and get killed by the Vortigons. You need to keep it up to the jump pad and fly over the two right Vortigons before their shots. Avoid to attract the fourth Vortigons attention too soon or you might get killed as well. When sharking you might either miss to reduce your falling speed and die on the outer wall, fall off the water column which can still be saved if your speed didn't decrease too much, or bump into the separating wall. Just to mention a few possible improvements, you can first kill the alien grunt shooting hornets at you with the SMG grenade and scare the human grunt with it as well. Getting killed by the hornets is a common problem. 
You can further scare the human grunt with the second SMG nade so he might open the door more quickly without using a hand grenade. Comparing all of the strategies, you can first of all see that Maxim's IHD saves between 4 to 9 seconds compared to your standard IHD setup. The Maxim IHD strat combined with a scare SMG grenade to pass the first three Vortigons should be faster than additionally picking up all four medkits, but it shows how this strategy can be improved a lot by an optimized execution. Out of all the advanced strategies, Maxim's IHD is the one to pick last for implementation. While it might not necessarily be as risky as other strategies and can easily be changed into a normal setup when failing the boost, the possible time save is one of the hardest to consistently get in a run.